In the pancreas, tiny scatters of cells called the islet of Langerhans are composed of alpha cells, which produces glucagon that converts glycogen from the liver into glucose. There are also beta cells, which produces insulin that converts glucose to glycogen. Insulin production is stimulated by hormones known as incretins, such as glucagon-like peptide 1, also known as GLP-1. Insulin resistance causes poor response from the liver, which means the liver needs more insulin in order to function. With the failure of the beta cells to keep up with the insulin demand, glucose builds up in the bloodstream and this causes diabetes as well as other health problems. Know the symptoms of type 2 diabetes. This includes excessive thirst, frequent or increased urination on a regular basis, excessive hunger, fatigue, blurry vision, and sores or cuts that will not heal. One of the treatment methods of type 2 diabetes is the uses of drugs that inhibit DPP-4. DPP-4, or dipeptidyl peptidase 4, is an enzyme expressed on the surface of most cell types and rapidly breaks down incretins such as GLP-1. Thus, if this enzyme is inhibited, incretin production will increase, stimulating insulin production. Side effects of these drugs include heart failure, hypersensitivity, skin reactions, severe joint pain, nasopharyngitis, headache, and nausea. Another treatment method of type 2 diabetes is the injection of incretin analogs. These mimic incretin behavior but cannot be deactivated by DPP-4 and hence more insulin can be produced. One such example is Exendin-4, a naturally occurring peptide found in lizard venom. The site of DPP-mediated inactivation for Exendin-4 contains a glycine rather than an alanine, which is found in human GLP-1, so the DTP-4 is not able to deactivate the Exendin-4. Lastly, another treatment method is the use of glucosidase inhibitors. Glucosidase is an enzyme which breaks down starch into monosaccharides like glucose for the body to absorb. With inhibitors inhibiting glucosidase, starch is not able to be broken down and is eliminated through excretion instead. Hence, blood glucose levels will not rise, eliminating the need to produce more insulin.